could see the Google of banking, we could see the Amazon of banking, we could see uh, something that grows so quickly that overnight almost it becomes a dominant force in banking. It has happened with text to the mobile phone companies. The text facility on mobile phones was put on there by engineers as an engineering facility as almost an afterthought in the standard. It was never intended to be a service. It has become the dominant mode across the planet barring America which stands alone in its lack of texting. So much growth has been seen that we now have about 85% of all the calls initiated are text but they only contribute about 17% of revenues. Boy, does that hurt. So as a mobile operator, you have to invest in extra infrastructure to make a lot less money. That's the kind of evolution that I think is a precursor to what could happen to banking. So a lot of the fat, a lot of the inefficiency, a lot of the lack of service could be taken out it could be provided by someone else on the periphery of the network, not in banking at all, and it could be done to a lot less expenditure to the customers. Moreover, you can have a gathering intelligence, a little bit like the way uh, Amazon will offer me books on the basis that you have purchased books similar to the ones I have when we share our reader list. And you can imagine a similar kind of thing starting to emerge with banking where groups of people are urged to do something, you can get an economy of scale that you can't achieve with a bank in one country because now it's a global market. And, and where are those opportunities going to come? Well, it may be carbon trading, it may be an investment in forestry, but it will be sure as heck tied into tax breaks and investment opportunities that probably the banks are not currently looking at.